Alrighty, now we're uh, we're back in the Cerro Mansion after we finished the boat, aka Jeremy's mind, psyche. Now we are doing number thirteen, and uh, I just went to have a look around. I still need to go downstairs because I checked the map. As you can see, the lighter color is where there is still something but now we gotta go to empty room which is uh, his room empty room so it's right there and that is safe let me just sit up hopefully. I recognize this view. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. Find the familiar numbers. You should come. Is any of this real? 196 LA. I know that number. Louisiana. Where's that from? I did this. I wrote that. Well, in that case. Yeah, this one. 196. One nine six six nine two Louisiana. License no, that's his license number. <clears throat> All right. One nine six six nine two. Stupid. I know the combination. I carry it with me. One nine six so and so left. So left six, nine right, and left two. An old coin from the time when Louisiana was a Spanish colony. Detective, I have made many discoveries in my case. The child we want is safe, thanks to good people like me and you. We are so similar. But you don't see all the things I do. To find your man, Jeremy, you also need to look for the girl. It has always been that way. The young deliver us all. You should have a look in my room. There's a piece of the puzzle you will need. Take care now. My coffee. More coffee. Find a missing drawing inside How the coffee. How long have I been here? my goodness what what if he's been here all this time and it's in his head he's gonna be the sick patient entirely possible yeah i wanted to uh go to uh, get back to to this i had to look it up obviously uh, it just doesn't make any sense 
Peter, like I'm saying, the saves don't even work that way. So it was, how are you supposed to know from, from that number? You have one, one, nine, six, six, nine, two. And the code was left six, right nine, Yeah, we have left six, one, uh, one uh, uh, right nine, and left two. Six, nine, two, yeah? Six, nine, two, six, two. So the last three numbers were the code. After one, nine, six. Those were the last three numbers. And then we started with, uh, we started with six left. And then right nine. It doesn't work that way, come on. Anyway, McCaffrey, he's, um, it's, uh, 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 yeah, we got a solution now. Yeah, there's still some kind of letters. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Ah, uh, I, I was wondering, like, oh, I will have to find a screwdriver, but no, coin will do. Yeah, the missing picture, key item. Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing the shame? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? And now Grace's room. Find a missing drawing and say McCaffrey's room. Piece your memory back together. to go to her room now, right? <clears throat> oh great. Oh great. What the hell happened in here?
the drawing finally okay select rotate we can go uh, in the middle okay. Wait a minute. Nah, it's not gonna make this one.
three there, three over there. One, two, three. Uh, yeah. Oh. Girl, no. All done, all done. Huh? What? Which room is this? I don't remember. Find a missing drawing inside McCaffrey's room. McCaffrey's room. Drawing. But we did. Piece your memory back together. Oh shit. Jeremy's never been here. The toilet's supposed to be here. What is this? Hiding desk key. That 
That's me, isn't it? Okay, hi them. Western Union. My husband has returned to steal one of our most valuable paintings. I'm sure he means to sell it. If you hurry, I'm sure you can track him down. Gabriel Saunders. It had been since I drowned myself in drinking depression. It had all felt so peaceful, slipping away into oblivion. A welcoming dark voice wrapped around my mind like a heavy blanket. It turned off suddenly as I woke up from the sound of my office door closing shut. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. to drink so much. Key item. Theodore Saunders is the husband, huh? Let's back that. When was this exactly? What case was I working? Figure out which case Garmby was working. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state, but he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. Outside again. Okay, there is a fog, so this way. Alright, sorry about that, I cut the video. Machine gun. Oh, is that one bullet? Thornhill wasn't a bad man, but he had principles keeping him from handing out information on the field. So he needed some convincing. Well, every case can't be squeaky clean. You see the way he talked? And I'm not sure if there is uh, something happened to the sound or it's supposed to be like this. Money. Really? Bullets inside? 
shotgun. I'm cool. Are you kidding me? Kinda sucks. Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on an easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had a certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. I felt myself falling into the painting, only being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand, and asking me to get the hell out. I don't remember this at all, but I can't say it didn't happen. Well, I'm guessing on the uh, fast playthrough, I would just have to lure him here and run. First one, in the first playthrough, you you gotta explore. Gotta go into what? Hotel. When I missed a drink inside McCarthy's room. Oh, oh, we did that, why is it still? Uh, never mind. Go to St. Joseph's Hotel by the park. Which is where? Go that way. Really? So which way then? Ah, there is a light. It's 
it's uh, not, not there, not there. What? Where's that? No, that's a two free weapon. You gotta go there. I can. Nope. Oh, okay. On my way to the hotel, the Morgan gang caught up. I owed them money, a lot of it. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment of this. I punched one of them out, and I sent the others packing. Just a Fast run. Oh, there's another motherfucker. Okay, there was another Molotov. All right, all right. Hotel is closed. Yep. <sighs> Got a gun. And big nothing. Oh, 
Hotel Bill dated uh, December 21st, 25th, 1928. Mr. Strucker, room 301 or 7. Strucker 1. I found him. In the hotel ledger, I recognized the handwriting of the signature, Ted Stryker. It was him. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to his room. Something about that name, Ted Stryker, rings a bell. It feels vaguely familiar. One, so <gasps> Jesus, what was that? <sighs> That's the one. I'm guessing all there is. It's closed. Yeah. I recognize this room. Here I am, business card. David Thornhill's business card. But I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them. But where? Telephone directory. David boarding school. Business card. God damn me, I wanna yes. Thank you. What now? Swap places, okay. Thornhill Gallery. Uh, yes. What is there? Cathedral.
hold to No, hold to the zap there, it should be here That's right, he was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. And he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. Find a missing driver, intercept the kidnapper on Pearl River Bridge. Right, I will do that in the next part, guys. Thank you very much. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next part. We'll get to the bridge.